let's consider a one-dimensional motion that has a non-uniform acceleration. What we'd like to do is explore how do you differentiate position functions to get velocity functions to get acceleration function. So what we're going to consider is a rocket. So I'm going to choose a coordinate system y, and here's my rocket, and I have a function y of t, and I'll have a j hat direction, but this will be a one-dimensional motion. Now, I want to express, while the rocket is thrusting upwards and the engine is burning, um, we can describe a function y of t to be equal to 1 half a constant a naught minus the gravitational acceleration times t squared. And we're going to have a separate term here, which is minus 1 over 30. And you'll see where this 30 comes in as we start to differentiate. The same constant a naught t to the sixth over t naught to the fourth. Now in this expression, a naught is bigger than g. And also, this is only true, this holds for the time interval 0, less than or equal to t, less than t naught. And at time t equals to t naught, the engine shuts off. And at that moment, our expectation will be that the y component of the acceleration should just be minus g um, for t greater than t naught. So now let's calculate the acceleration as the, the velocity and the position as functions of time. So the velocity, in each case, we're going to use the polynomial rule. So the y component of the velocity is just the different derivative of t squared, which is just 2t. And so we get a naught minus g times t. And when we differentiate t to the 6, the 6 over 30 gives us a factor of 1 over 5. So we have minus 1 over 5 times a naught t to the 5th over t naught to the 4th. And this is a combination of a linear term and a term that is decreasing by this t to the 5th factor. And finally, we now take the next derivative, a y of t, which is d v y dt. I'll just keep functions of t, but we don't really need that. And when we differentiate here, we get a naught minus g. Now you see the fives are canceling. And we have minus a naught t to the fourth over t naught to the fourth. Now, at time t equals t naught, what do we have? Well, a y at t equals t naught. Um, this is just a factor of minus a naught. Those cancel, and we get minus g, which is what we expected.